so welcome everyone welcome to your channel excel corporates and today again we are back with a video uh, related to power query in excel uh, for the bulk consolidation of the gsta to be excel files so let's start so if you have seen my channel before you might have uh, come across this particular video where i have talked about merging multiple gsta to a files in a single folder uh without any macro so after i uploaded the video i got some uh, comments that uh, most of the people are using gstr 2b and we are not uh, downloading gstr 2a so how can we use this tool for gstr 2b so i uh, made this particular power query tool again and uh, uh, now uh, with this tool uh, which i have over here um, we can have all our gstr 2b files combined into a single excel file so how does the tool work pretty much the same as we have seen uh, i have already uploaded two videos regarding the same editors like one is the gstr 2a combined and one is the gstr 1 json to excel conversion and consolidation so do watch those two videos both are uploaded in my channel i uh, that are definitely beneficial and uh, okay so come talking with this tool again it has built in the same feature uh you can have to upload you have to have all your gstr 2b excel files in a single folder like i have over here uh, in the test one gstr 2b excel you can see this i'll go back to gstr 2b excel merging and go to test one this is 2b excel and all these uh gstr 2b excel files are over here okay so you just have to mention the folder where your all the gstr 2b files are located and one thing to make sure i'll just highlight it on red because it's very important and uh, the a file will not work if you don't apply this um, the name of the files must be gstn underscore month and year month should be two digit and year should be four digit so it's mandatory if you see all my excel files are same pattern okay gstn at first then underscore then month and then the year so make sure you have these excel files in the same nomenclature for uh, this tool to work properly so what we have to do once you have written the um, the folder path over here simply go to the main sheet main dashboard and refresh the pivot table as easy as it sounds okay simply go to the uh, pivot table and hit refresh what will happen uh, like you might if you are familiar with power query then you might have already understood but if you have not then the power query basically is a is a great feature in excel and uh, what this tool is doing currently it is just going to that folder it is reading all those excel files whatever are present in that folder and then it will be having few steps which i have already written and then it will apply all those steps to all those files it will merge this you can see this uh, is the merged uh, pivot table now you will see that where i can get the invoice wise details because that it what that is actually what we need because we need to do the matching with our purchase register so what we can do go to the taxable value total amount and double click on it as soon as you double click on it you will see a whole new excel sheet uh, getting pop up and uh, this excel sheet has your invoice wise details you can see the invoice number the gstn number of the uh, supplier the date value and all the fields which you have in gstr 2b like itc availability this is a, one of the main feature which gstr 2b has and in the case of no the reasons are mentioned over here reason point post annual cut off that's why it's not available and uh, all these things everything which is gstr 2b has it has been uh, downloaded and kept in this uh, folder sorry in this file as well okay so it is it's as that simple so again if i want to change it if i have like test one uh, we have done this so i'll go to test two suppose i want to merge all these files now you know that in gstr 2b when you download there is also a summary file which gets downloaded okay but in summary file there are no invoice wise details so for this purpose uh, this uh, dashboard will be ignoring all the summary files if you have so i would recommend ki if you don't want to uh, like combine these files you can automatically delete it or you can keep it somewhere else but even if you keep it uh, the the tool is smart enough and it will not uh, combine those summary files uh and here hit refresh now these are like different gst ions all together so we'll see that uh, the the details will be quite different okay so there four lakhs now to 63 lakhs 63 crores okay so in this way you can have your uh, gst uh, uh, gstr 2b 
Excel and you get it converted uh, into a combined feature. So this is a very great tool, I would say. And you just need to simply just uh, change the folder name and you can get uh, your uh, invoice by details over here. And there is no any limit. Like you can have as many Excel files as you want and as many invoices. Like you can have over 10 lakhs invoices total. And, and the tool will work perfectly fine. So that's, that's the beauty of this tool. And um, you can have all those filters. If you have multiple GST ions, like I currently have just one GST ion, right? So just one GST ion is coming. Even if you like uh, bring two, three more, uh, two, three more, or 100, 200 even GST ions, then it will work for that as well. You can apply filters January, February, March. You can apply filters for fiscal year 21, 22, 22. All these filters are available. And uh, yes, you can make use of it. And definitely it will help you uh, in combining your multiple uh, GSTI to be and making the consolidation. You can just simply click on it and you will get the invoice wise details. So, yeah. Uh, so this was for uh, this video. I hope you like it and I hope you will be using it in your office and also tell your friends or uh, other colleagues who are working in GST domain because uh, these are some regular nature works which we have to do like every month in GST. So I hope uh, this will be beneficial to them. Do share it with your colleagues and like the video if you uh, enjoyed learning and we will be back again with such more exciting videos in future. Till then stay tuned.